Hi, this is Ben from Bulletproof Automotive. We're here at SEMA 2013, and this is our Scion FRS Concept 1. We got the idea to make the Concept 1 because the 86 chassis is an amazing driver's car, and these days so many of the supercars out there are not as involved as a enthusiast or owner's car. It's more of a car that drives itself. So many cars now have sequential transmissions and have so many electronics that we like the idea of making a, uh, a baby brother for the LFA, but something that was maybe even in some ways a bit more pure with the proper six-speed manual, with the lighter weight, and still giving it enough power to make that all work together. So this car is 500 horsepower, uh, has a supercar interior where we, where we redid all the interior. Uh, the interior is all now Alcantara, carbon fiber, and some painted accents. Uh, and the goal was really to try to take an affordable sports car and granted, add a lot to the price, but turn it into a supercar. Uh, and this is, this is our, our attempt at doing that. But the interesting thing about it is that it really isn't a, a one-dimensional build. There's modifications in all areas. So, you know, we could talk about, uh, for example, the roof coming off and there being an Esprit dry carbon roof on the car, which is a pretty serious modification as far as cutting up a car. Of course, we have the fully functional Varus wide body kit, which is track tested, and that replaced every single panel of the car. There's lots of details everywhere, you know, even, even the windshield wipers we decided to make carbon fiber just to make details that most people really wouldn't notice, but the more you look into it, the more you get a feeling of quality. Every aspect of the car is modified, the car's got a fully built engine, a used turbo kit, a racing suspension from original Run Deuce Japan, racing brakes from original Run Deuce Japan, really nothing that hasn't been changed. Even the headlights are custom, we have uh, two projectors that are both HIDs, that's a bit unique as well for the car. There's Nothing on the car that's original at this point, except for probably the glass and the frame. Uh, with that being said, we do a lot of one-off work for customers. So aside from distributing these Japanese brands that are on the car, we do a lot of custom builds like this for clients around the world. So the interior is really a good representation of what we do for a lot of Nissan GTRs. We're not afraid of one-off work, and we do a lot of this carbon fiber work and Alcantara work and reshaping of things for our clients around the world. It gets a bit challenging at times. It's always easier to have the car at our shop in LA, but. We even had a guy that took his entire interior apart, sent us even the whole dashboard and everything in the mail, did the whole interior and then sent it back to him. So anything's possible. We have fun challenging ourselves and, and trying to do things that are a bit unique because uh, after doing it for this long, it's fun to sell parts that come in boxes and ship out, but it's a lot more fun to make something original that no one else has. So this car is, is not a show car, it's actually meant to run. That's one of the main things a lot of people at these events kind of don't think about it as much. Most of the cars here are seen as show cars. This is actually meant to, meant to drive, meant to race. It has two tunes, it has a pump gas tune and also an E85 tune. Uh, we set it up for 500 horsepower on E85 and really the whole point of this car is to run side by side with the Lexus LFA. That's a lot of the inspiration. So this car has better power to weight than the LFA and it may not be as fast, but we're trying to get there. It should be pretty close. Uh, and we're hoping to test that later on this year. The build wasn't terribly difficult, to be honest. It was just, the, the, the timing is always hard for SEMA. We did the build in about three months, and that meant a lot of coordination with a lot of our partners. Uh, we have an amazing team at Bulletproof Automotive, and all the guys worked their butts off to get this thing done. Uh, we got some great sponsors and partners over in Japan that we worked with for a lot of years. Powerhouse MUs, Varus, Original Run Deuce, uh, Recaro Japan and the US side Recaro, uh, Ray's Wheels. Uh, there's a whole lot of partners on this car, and you know, all of these guys helped out in all their different ways and, and gave us access to the great parts that we, that we have. Um, and you know, projects of this scale are not a one-man project, it's really about the team and we strive on having the best partners on the best team and without them it wouldn't have happened.